strict, like, slackery musical review where we don't really dress very nice or nothing, no offense to the expensive. But you look good, you're handsome dudes, but you're not wearing, like, you know, we're not wearing matching suits or anything. You got the half beer, thank you. Did you grow this for me? Because you knew I was coming? That's what she, uh, guys, I can't. Cool. All right, let me, um, I'll, I'll bring Chef up in a second. Let me meet you guys, because I've been distracted the whole show with, uh, with the enthusiasm over here that I want to be sure that I am. What, what group is this over here? Who are, who are you guys? Are you just a bunch of friends? Are you part of some fan club that I should be scared of? Like, <laughs> did you come for Shy Puppet? What's the deal? What you guys? We love you, BJ. Thank you, sir. Uh, you love BJ. And do you guys, uh, are you guys roommates who love BJ? Are you guys <laughs> part of some club? What's your deal? What do you, how do you know each other? Uh, love Fire Guy. Oh love Fire Guy. Thank you, Fire Guy. Uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I feel like you guys were louder without the microphone in the stage. You're getting a little, a little shy puppet up here. Um, <laughs> Not what she said. What did she say? You're getting a little shy puppet up here. It depends on the situation. That's what she said. I mean, it's not a universal thing. You got some smart students up here. It's not a universal thing. It's not a universal thing. And over here, what, what's what's your name over here? I'm Alan. Alan. Okay. And what year are you? Uh, senior. You're a senior. And what do you? Let's give it up for seniors. And what do you study? Architecture. Architecture? Now what do you want to be when you grow up? Hopefully an architect. Yeah, that's good. I was going to tell you that that's what I recommend for you based on, based on my intimate knowledge. And you, with the Oxford shirt? Uh, Connor. Connor. And you are a senior as well? Yes. And what are you majoring in? Uh, international Economics and Finance. Now, <laughs> the point of this, ladies and gentlemen, is that sometimes you might see a bunch of dudes shouting in a corner. But in fact, they may be majoring in international economics and finance. And the future of our nation's economy might be in their hands. So don't judge anyone based on a group homoerotic chant of we want BJ during a show. They may be designing your house they may be saving our financial markets from collapse. They may be, I forget what, what do we know about each other? They may be growing half beards and they may be... I, I consider myself cute. Let's hear for these guys. I will come back there. Ladies and gentlemen, I see you. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Thank you very much. And I like your beard. And, uh, and if you didn't get a picture of that, you'd just like a picture of, of me and the puppet to uh, have a very unrepresentative, hopefully uh, misleading view of what I do in my time off. I go on a tour with the puppet. So anybody who wants to take a picture. <laughs> Is that from the office? <laughs> That's a pretty smart show, I thought. <laughs> I wonder what a stand-up is like. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Shy Puppet, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much to say, I just, I just wanted to introduce you. Um, so, let me see, is this a, a trash can that I can bring over here? It's a sign. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I brought a bunch of stuff, a bunch of jokes. And this is a great, smart city and a young, lively crowd. And I wanted to bring a lot of jokes that uh, I could kind of learn from this crowd. Because I figure if a joke works in this crowd, it's probably a good joke. I respect this crowd. I figured I would. And if it doesn't work here, maybe I should uh, get rid of it. Maybe I should do a little spring cleaning on these jokes. So I brought a bunch of jokes. And I see this trash can here. So let's see what, what stays for the next gig and what I will leave here in Washington, D.C. So. so I spent four years in college. Like a lot of you, I learned nothing. I learned literally, literally nothing in college. Um, thank you for 
those of you who are going through a similar situation. I learned literally nothing in college. And it was really kind of my own fault. I had a double major, psychology and reverse psychology. <laughs> <laughs> You ever see a pretty girl on the street and you start to kind of undress her with your hands? <laughs> they always know somehow, too. <laughs> Should have broken out these earlier. <laughs> I used to sponsor an orphan 